everyone, this is Jody Mariwan, and I am the author of the urban fantasy novel Under Her Cursed Scythe. So, I am in fact filming this in the middle of the night, and the reason for that is first, I do not have time to film any video this week except this moment now, so I'm actually pre recording this and hope this will be like uploaded to YouTube on Sunday. And the second reason would be because this tag that I'm going to do is one of the best tags I've ever seen on AuthorTube, so yeah, I can't wait to do it. So, this tag is called the Author Tube Christmas Characters Tag. So this tag is created by Caden McCrager. Hopefully I didn't mispronounce your name, but yeah, he tagged me in his video and therefore I'm doing this tag. I'm really honored to be tagged and he has seven questions in total and I'm going to, um, you know, reply to these questions one by one. First question is, who would be the Santa Claus of your story? The one who brings joy to everyone. Without doubt, I would say definitely Joshua. Joshua is a character, uh, a male, main male character who actually is really kind and very generous. He His kindness comes from his heart and it's not pretended. And he's someone who would try his best to make others happy. And there's actually a scene where he actually buys a gift to someone because he wants to make that person happy. And when he buys gifts to others, um, this... Uh, and when people feel happy of it, he feels happy as well. So definitely Joshua is the second clause in Under Christmas Society. So who, the second question is, who is on the naughty list and why? Um, that's a very tricky question because I feel like a lot of characters would be on the naughty list. But um, if I have to really have to choose one, I would say for now, in the beginning of the story, definitely Olivia. So as a naughty list, in fact, if you're on the naughty list, you kind of have to reflect why you're on the naughty list. And in fact, it's a quite an important process for the character or that person to self-reflect on yourself. And I really think while Olivia is doing something very naughty, um, she really needs to be reminded of that she that she's on the naughty list. She needs to know that she's on the naughty list in order to be aware that things she do is wrong. That's all I want to say about it. Um, so the third question is, what would your main character love to find in their stocking? So the first main character is Olivia. For Olivia, I wouldn't say that she could find something she actually loves in a stocking because what she truly desires or love is not really abstract and vague. It's not something that can be found in a physical object. But what she would love, if I, you, there must be a physical object, would be something that helps her to kill, like something that assists her to complete her missions of reaping other souls definitely because she has to complete her missions in order to get what she truly desires as for joshua the other character what he would love to find in their socket i would definitely say um, anything from olivia because he's like crazily obsessed with her and anything from her would be like real precious to him because it's really really rare for Olivia to show any emotions like positive emotions I would say or not to say like if affections so anything from Olivia would be something he would love to find in his stocking so for the fourth question do your characters celebrate Christmas or any other holiday um, I would say for Olivia she did not celebrate Christmas because she is not allowed it to in some way um, but of course after serious events she would be allowed it um, for Joshua definitely he loves Christmas he's definitely celebrating it and as I've mentioned, he's definitely going to be the Santa Claus in, on Christmas. As for other holidays, they will celebrate. Um, I wouldn't say Olivia would celebrate any festival, but and in terms of like similar, she would do some activities on Halloween because it's set in Halloween. It's quite important to her, but not in a positive way. But as for Joshua, he celebrates any holidays or festivals. For him, like as long as it brings joy, he would definitely celebrate it. So the fifth question is, does your main character give any character a gift throughout the book? I've mentioned this before, so um, Joshua would definitely give a gift to Olivia in the middle of the book. And it's in fact a gift that will probably change her life. Yes, in some way. It's very important, but I do not want to tell you because I will be spoiling the entire plot. But I would say that gift is just a simple bracelet with a star. It's like a leather bracelet with um, a polar star in the middle, but also tiny little stars um, around it, the leather bracelet. It's just, 
a handmade leather bracelet, I would say. And Joshua considered it as one and only one, but of course he was being scammed. So, but still, it was something he wanted to buy for Olivia. As to what is the meaning behind this gift, you've got to find out from my book. So the sixth question is, who are the two most unlikely characters to be found under the mistletoe? In fact, there are a lot of characters, but I do not want to mention a lot because it will spoil the plot. But if you've read the first few chapters, which I will leave the link below, it's like a preview of it, um, you will know that the most unlikely pair that will be found under the mistletoe in the first few chapters would be Olivia and her brother Luke. Because she hates her to the guts. Like to the bones and she would never never even want to be in the same room with him like she couldn't endure him for the seventh question which christmas carol best fits your main character or story um when i came across this question i was i was struggling i was frustrated because i don't really know which um christmas song that best suits it since this story is has a context about halloween so it's set in halloween so it's a bit difficult i've thought of like a miracles a christmas songs related to miracles because that's one of the theme but i do not find that and then i came across a very classic christmas song which is really unexpected that it matches with my novel but it is the uh rudolph the rat nosed reindeer so basically rudolph the rat nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw solid you would even say it glows yes basically just that um if i like that song i've always considered it as like anti-bullying that kind of song and i would say that scene or the whole process how rain uh, rudolph from a being someone who's being bullied or a reindeer being bullied to to someone who is unexpectedly being chosen by Santa Claus and since I've mentioned that Joshua is Santa Claus um, it's like the character similar to Santa Claus I would say Olivia would be Rudolph so there's definitely a scene or the whole process when you look at the two this two's relationship you would find similarities between them and Rudolph and Santa so yes I think um, that's pretty it for this uh, tag and I'm really grateful that Kaden has created this tag because it's amazing and and it's give me a clearer picture especially for the last question I I never expected this book would have some um, you know connection with the Christmas song Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer and it helps me to further reflect with my own story again even though it's already published but yeah I really like this tag and uh, I believe I will be uploading this before Christmas and I hope you'll like it I will find it interesting so if you're interested go check out my book and yeah uh, I think that's it um, thank you so much for watching and as always let's end this video by saying remember to stop existing start living and be alive and of course Merry Christmas! Hope you have a really nice Christmas holiday! Bye!